<sighs> salute, salute, salute. Man, this is a box of nocturnal thoughts. Video, not gonna be quick, but I will get out the way, so be patient. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, leave me a comment, thumbs up. And if you don't like the video, thumbs down, if that's still an option. First of all, let me get some shots out, out the way. Uh, I wanna give a shout out to a couple of channels that's some bangers you know, that I really appreciate and watch every every video I get an opportunity to I try to watch these these uh, young brothers Cardinal Red does it all and you know what I'm not good with names so I'm trying to remember these names off the rip Cardinal Red does it all or he says Cardinal Bud Crawford or E S red if that's what you want to call me S -s subscribe to his channel salute to his channel man uh he, he always got some real good content boss hog boss dog k po to the dope let's talk about this boxing salute special shout out man every single one of his videos great content straight direct blunt force trauma he gonna hit you right up beside the head with some real real talk um, um, coming out of Houston, Texas. I want I think he's from Houston, Texas. Um, just a, a, a great channel. Uh, I watched a video he did today on Andy Ruiz and Luis Ortiz. He gave me a shout out. Yo, I appreciate that. Salute, salute. Go to his channel. Subscribe to his channel. Go through, look at all of his content. Leave him a comment and a thumbs up. Um, 903 boxing salute 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 easy money uh boxing spreadsheet formerly known as blood boxing og blood also known as retro boxing go check him out check him out subscribe to his channel it's an og so it's enough said um anybody else if i'm forgetting about you yo i respect i salute so, I want to talk about Clarissa Shields versus Savannah Marshalls. Look at this fight. For me, the very first thing that comes to mind is the great white hype. That was an all-star cast movie. It had um, Samuel Jackson, was like Don King. Damon Waynes was like a Mike Tyson. Um, Peter Ecker was like the Irish fighter Terry Conklin. Um, Jamie Foxx was like the was like uh, Bernie the boxer, tag along type of character trying to ride the coattails of the champion. Um, Jeff Goldblum, one of my favorite actors, he was in there. He was like kind of like um, Lou DeBella. He was trying to be a promoter and find that one fighter that's going to get him to the top so he can compete with the big Bob Arums and Don Kings. Lou DiBella, kind of the same personality. He latched on to, uh, to uh, or he found, he found and promoted George the Ferocious Cambosis, and that's kind of like the same character as Jeff Goldblum, who tried to, you know, uh, poach. Uh, Terry Conklin and, and, and thought he was going to be the next champion. He went in there and hit Damon Wayne's with a good shot. And Damon Wayne's like, he's trying to embarrass me on TV. But the whole story to me is parallel to Savannah Gabriel's, or Savannah Gabriel's, that's Hannah Gabriel's, Savannah Marshall's versus uh, the quote Clarissa Shields, where you know, they got the champion with all these accolades, pretty much undefeated, two time gold Olympian two division undisputed a division unification got all these belts and they have to go back and find the one person that beat the champion in the amateurs pose that person uh show that person as a dangerous threat a knockout artist and then build up this big fight this big showdown between damon waynes and peter edgar or savannah marshall's versus the quote clarissa shields now that's the movie great movie epic movie you know play off of the jack johnson great white hope type of a story but you know it's just a good comedy jamie fox like i said jamie fox is in there 
it's just good comedy um who else was in there um um uh, cheech and chong cheech from cheech and chong he was in there too a bunch of different dudes uh, that i can't remember the name right off the top so anyways savannah marshall's is not terry conklin it's not peter ecker savannah marshall's is a real deal she is to me one of the most dangerous opponents that i've seen clarissa shields face hannah gabriel's was a dangerous opponent but i think she was on the other side of her career and um she she was impressive she knocked down clarissa shields the first person the only person i believe to knock down clarissa shields and then clarissa shields you know got up from that knockdown and showed why she was the quote why she is the quote why she's a champion why she's boxing at a higher caliber than her other opponents you know what i'm saying i'm going i'm not gonna lie if you go all the way back to one of my first clarissa shields video I picked against her. I said, I picked, my heart picks her to win. I want her to win. I pulled for her to win. But at that time, she hadn't shown me enough in her professional career. I didn't think she was going to be able to get past Christina Hammer. I thought the style matchup was not good for her. I watched both of them fight Tori Nelson. And I thought that Christina Hammer was going to be able to outbox Clarissa Shields and keep her at the end of that jab. 100% wrong. Uh, one hundred percent wrong. Clarissa Shields worked in, worked her way inside, got inside the wheelhouse, and was banging Christina Hammer to the body. And all the agonization and pain was all over her face, where I thought she was going to drop like a sack of potatoes. Clarissa Shields dog walked her. Period. Point blank. Now Clarissa Shields, she punches with mean intentions, but over the years she's developed more of her boxing style and she hasn't turned into a knockout artist like I thought she was going to when I first seen her, you know, as a younger fighter going through the Olympics on her documentary with T-Rex. She was sparring and training with her boyfriend and beating up the dudes, beating up the uh, boys. I thought her power would have transferred into her um, professional career as somewhat of a knockout artist that's not the direction that she took she she developed her craft she developed her skills and her technique um and she is at this point superior to everybody else she's really faced against Ivana Habazin she just had faster reflexes cagier craftier set traps um you know catch and shoots parries defense is on point jab is on point body work is on point I'm not going to lie, sometimes Clarissa Shields still fights like a girl. With all the technique, when I see her on the heavy bag, when I see her doing mitts, uh, for all of her attri attributes and her physical gifts and her talent, still sometimes she punches like a girl. When she starts to throw combinations, it gets a little wild and her defense gets a little reckless and she starts to get caught with punches and throw punches that still remind me that I'm watching female boxing and there's nothing wrong with that but I didn't think that was going to be the case with Clarissa Shields I thought her um I thought she would bring a different game as she progressed I thought that she would be a little bit more of a sharpshooter power puncher boxer I thought I just thought she would be a little bit different but um it is what it is I'm impressed by her nonetheless you know what I'm saying the way she beat Marie Eve Dakari the way she beat Ivana Habazin the way she beat Christina Hammer um, and, and Hannah Gabriels. Uh, I can't remember the person she last fought. I did watch that Femka fight, but the last person she fought was the fight that um, Savannah Marshall was, was in the audience and she was acting like she was she was in there knocked out sleep because uh, the fight was boring and it was distance. So she's out boxing people. But she does it in a way where she's faster, she's stronger, she has more reflexes, she is a better uh, boxer, she's a better puncher. But you look at Savannah Marshalls, who has uh, some physical advantages. Long jab, taller, um, more power. You know what I'm saying? She keep you at the end of her jab. She give you different looks. You know what I'm saying? She stays long. She flicks off that jab. She follows up with combinations. She's, her fluidity 
and her power is well disguised. Her knockout punches are well disguised within her combinations. When I see her fight, the only the only thing that I really focus on, besides her kind of switching and her kind of Tyson Furious style and kind of reminds me of Patrick Ford style, um, her speed, she looks slow to me. And that's where I see a handicap, where I see Clarissa Shields who puts that pressure on. When she puts that pressure on, I don't think that she, that Savannah Marshalls is gonna be able to sit back and measure and get her timing down and throw out that jab and then follow up with those same combinations. But I see that's also the road to her victory if she is able to do that. I've seen her fight people, I forget the name of the fighter, but her style was similar to a style that Clarissa Shields uses, but she was a front runner. She doesn't, she couldn't do that for the for a whole fight. She could do that for like one or two rounds. But those one or two rounds, she was coming full steam ahead, like a peekaboo style sometimes, but she was just coming and she was just guns blazing. And I seen Savannah Marshalls have a different style where she just put her shield up, put her guards up, um, let her get off, push her back, tighten up her guard, let her get off, push her back. And then once she started to see her opponent slow down, then she started getting back into that more relaxed, you know what I'm saying? One arm down here, looking, 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 flick out the jab, flick out the jab. And then she had just set up a trap, let you come in, bait you in, bow, catch you with an uppercut. I did, she hit you with a bow, overhand, bow. And she had that power where she just let her hands go with some, with effortless power. So that was impressive. But I said, when that girl was putting on pressure, Savannah Marshalls wasn't getting off on that. Now Clarissa Shields can put on that pressure with um, a lot more um, consistency. And also she can do that for a longer duration. Her stamina and conditioning was on a different level in comparison to the girl that fought similar to her, but nowhere near the same conditioning and stamina our technique, our style, Clarissa Shields. Was, it was like a poor man's version of Clarissa Shields. You know what I'm saying? So when I look at this fight, I'm not gonna make a prediction. Well, I'm not gonna make a prediction. Let the best woman win. I'm going for Clarissa Shields to win and get the W. Um, outboxing her, like I said, using her speed to her advantage. Uh, not letting Savannah Marshall set up big shots. But I do see a path of victory for Savannah Marshall. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, um, I feel like with all the work that that uh, Clarissa Shields has put into the game, with her accomplishments, what she's done for the sport, um, even with her crossing over to do MMA, I just, I'm so impressed with her um, I adore her, period, point blank. I like Clarissa Shields inside the ring, outside the ring, doing her interviews, watching her face off with Johnny Nelson, the way she handles herself, the way she carries herself, her her um, ambitions, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like she has a, a heart of a champion. Um, you know, even if she loses to me, with all she's done, there, she's already a very, very unique individual. So even if she was to come up short in, in a fight, you know, that's not going to detract or take away from what she's already accomplished. At the end of the day, I don't see her losing this fight. I see her being able to pull out a victory by decision. You know what I'm saying? Maybe a split decision, but I see her being able to pull out a decision. Um, but like I said, I also can see a path of victory for Savannah Marshalls. But time will tell. Um, I'm not really making a prediction video. As far as the face-off, I think the face-off is similar to how the fight is going to go. I think that Clarissa Shields has more ammunition. Her artillery um, is more powerful, dangerous. I think Savannah Marshall has some tricks up her sleeve. And she's just trying to disguise some of her, uh, her her big guns. She's trying to disguise it. She's not trying to reveal too much. 
that's why a lot of times I feel like she just was on, on mute, silent, not having any re, uh, response. Um, a lot of times she was just verbally getting checkmated by Clarissa Shields, was in control of the conversation, in control of the is it dialect or dialogue, whatever you want to say. And that face off, Clarissa Shields uh, outsmarted her, uh, better shit talker, faster, wittier. But there was points and times where you could still see Savannah Marshall knows how to get underneath her skin a little bit. Uh, but I don't think she was able to take, take her off of her square. And I think that'll play out in the fight. I think Savannah Marshall will have her moments that'll be dangerous. Um, but once she finally, you know, gets that off, once she finally detonates some of those weapons, I think Clarissa Shields is going to be able to adapt, adjust, and then put on a championship performance. You know what I mean? As far as Clarissa Shields and the beef between her and Savannah Marshalls, I think a lot of that is just built up. I've seen too many videos of them being in the same room together with a lot more decorum and a lot more of a, you know, friendlier competition type of attitude towards each other so i really don't think there's no beef or animosity i think that's just clarissa shields really knowing how to build up this fight and sell this fight to make the sport bigger and more competitive and get paid the way women boxers on her level should be getting paid for what she's sacrificing and her her purpose and the reason why she's fighting and just the flag that she has and you know the people that she carries on her back I just feel like she's she knows exactly what to do to promote herself so I support it 100% and like I said I think the beef is kind of a little bit of uh, you know caveat to to the whole story of the great white hype I think it's gonna play out similar it's gonna play out similar you know she was gonna get caught with a big punch and then she's going to be like, you trying to embarrass me on TV? <laughs> and then she's going to go to work. All right. Salute. 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 Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel. I'm gone. Boxing Nocturnal Thoughts. 